Typhoid fever is infectious disease caused by Salmonella typhi bacteria, which lives inside human cell. Why is so important typhoid fever? It's important because it has huge fatality rate. If left untreated, in 10 to 30 percent of cases, it causes death. 30 percent of death rate is huge for any disease. What is most common transmission route? A contaminated foods or water. Especially if you are tourist and visiting endemic areas, for example India, and you eat street foods, you should be very careful because you can get an infected by typhoid fever. Endemic area for typhoid fever is Southern Asia and Africa, these countries, and South America also. Now let's say about symptoms. Typhoid fever has two types, uncomplicated and complicated. Uncomplicated versions is much more common and it has usually four phases, four weeks. First in first week, we have gradual onset of fever. Uh, temperature gradually increases. For example, first it's 37, 38, 39, and 14, uh, 40. Uh, it's 104 Fahrenheit. Uh, malaise and headache also common. Uh, the symptoms are common for uncomplicated and complicated form both. Second week is pink rush on person's chest and abdomen. This pink rash also common for complicated and uncomplicated forms. You can see on the picture this uh, a pink rash on person's chest at this example. During third week, if patient is treated, recovery occurs already in case of uncomplicated form. But in case of complicated form, intestinal hemorrhage can occur also perforation of intestines and neurological symptoms such as delirium and coma. For example, here you can see a staring facial expression of this woman who is infected by typhoid fever. Actually, it's already complication and it's sign of delirium. Uh, we should remember that this staring facial expression is not specific specific for type typhoid fever but it's generally characterized by delirium but it can be symptom of typhoid fever of course and fourth week fourth week we have recovery or death already for complicated form of typhoid fever of course in case of uncomplicated form person will recover and how we diagnose typhoid fever. Uh, the gold standard for diagnosis is blood culture test. That's gold standard for diagnosis. And what's treatment? Treatment we have antibiotics, uh, fluoroquinolones uh, such as ciprofloxacin is first uh, line treatment. If a fluoroquinolones resistant salmonella typhi, then third generation of cephalosporines uh, are used like uh, ceftriaxone and cefixim. Uh, and second line treatment is azithromycin. Uh, and why is treatment and diagnosis most important? Because we said that it has death rate 10 to 30 percent, it's huge. But after treatment, death rate decreases drastically less than one percent so so uh, it improves improves symptoms hugely and it improves survival rate hugely that's why uh, early treatment is important that's all what you should know about typhoid fever you should remember that contaminated water and contaminated food can be transmission routes, especially in Southern Asia, especially India, Pakistan and such countries and contaminated water, uh, food, uh, street foods can be source of typhoid fever 
and it needs uh, its emergency situation of course and needs early treatment uh, that's all thank you for your interest thank you for your watching if you like my video please thumbs up if you like my channel please subscribe thank you very much bye for now